This is the exhaust manifold and turbine housing off an OM617 turbo diesel engine. Those were the five cylinder diesel engines that were produced by Mercedes from about 1978 to 1985. And this is a very uh, common turbo. It's a Garrett T3. It's actually a US made turbo. And when everything is working properly, these turbos really give those five cylinder diesels a kick. I mean, you can drive one of these and it's no slouch. Sure, it's not, it's not gonna snap your neck back, but if you have a turbo diesel that when you floor it, it doesn't go anywhere. When you go up a hill, it starts to fade off. There's something wrong and it could be the turbo. And we have, we have kits available on my website where you can overhaul these turbos yourself, but it doesn't end there. You can't just overhaul the turbo and not inspect some other things related to it. And the, one of those things is right here. This thing right here, this is called a wastegate. That's a wastegate housing there. And I just, I just today opened this up and I thought, I've got to show you this because this could happen to your engine and you would never know it unless you inspected it or you did a test. You actually did a boost pressure test on the road using my kit to adjust your tur turbo boost pressure. So let me show you what I discovered today. The center section of the turbocharger sits right here and I've already moved this. So you can get a real close look at this wastegate assembly. This is the hose that comes from the compressor housing and feeds boost pressure down into the housing of the wastegate. I can pull the cover off and inside you'll see this diaphragm um, and you should, this is spring loaded. You should be able to take a hold of it right here and squeeze and push, but it's not moving. And even if I tap on it, it's not moving. So what's happened is the valve in here is totally seized in the guide. So we're gonna have to take this apart. You, you, you don't wanna just bang on it and hope that you can loosen up. You're gonna really have to take this apart and inspect it. But this is one of the issues that you may run into and that means that the the valve is not opening at all and it is possible that you could be over boosting your engine. If the diaphragm is torn, which is the other problem with these, that could mean that the engine is not developing full boost. So these two issues could be directly related to the performance of your engine. So I recommend anytime you're you're working on your turbocharger, you're overhauling your turbocharger, do not forget to open this cover and check your wastegate assembly for proper operation and condition of the rubber diaphragm here. I have a complete video instruction on my website that goes over everything related to how to take this apart, how it works, and we talk about adjustment. And also, if you need parts, we carry used uh, wastegate assemblies and used uh, turbine housings, particularly if you should break these bolts out. If you should break these bolts off when removing the turbo center section, I highly recommend don't fight it, just get a replacement used housing here. So check out the resources on my website if you're having problems with these issues right here.